Welcome back to the fourth and final round. We've got a nice one for you. The Battle of the Green Blacks. Kyle Kepi on Abzan, although he's a, still a good gen brother in my heart, versus Zach Romer. Um, a new a new member of the Jund conglomerate. I, no, here. no, 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 no. You can't just sleeve up a Jund deck and become a member. There are criteria. What more do you want? He's he's bought in. It's n not good enough, man. All right. I don't know. You need you need to be in the know. Do you? Yeah. All right. You need to be able to pilot the deck. You could consider this match the initiation of Zach Romer into the Good Brother Society of Jun Amazingness. Junsman? Junsmanship. All right. Black Cleave Cliffs into Inquisition. Pretty strong start. All right. So this Let's is see what he does. He's going to cut the men from the boys right here. So we don't know what's in Zach's hand. So if there's a removal spell, you can let him have the Dark Confidant. Right. If there's a removal spell and you have creatures, then you take the Abzan. If there's the, a removal spell and you are creature light... The, you mean the Abrupt Decay? The Abrupt Decay. What did I say? The Abzan. Oh. It's like, yeah. If there's, there's no Abzan in there. So if you are you have removal and you're creature light, you probably take the Liliana. Okay. So this tells me that Zach Romer is going to answer this turn to Dark Confidant. Yep. I'm Confidant. Hoping for like a comes into play tapped land there and then a push. Yeah. Terminate on the Bob. Sure. Not ideal, but certainly acceptable. So Kyle has the trump card here. Lingering Souls is is really the big deal. Oh, and he draws the second Bob too. Let's see. Let's see. Does he have the removal spell? So here's the deal. Jun doesn't have to care about Lingering Souls any as much anymore. Okay. I mean, it does, but at the same time, it doesn't. Don't tap that. Don't you tap that land. What are you doing? What are we... Uh... Why is he taking the Lingering Souls? So if he has a removal spell for the Bob, that's all good and fine. If he doesn't, he's going to play a Bob of his own, and it's just going to get Abrupt Decayed. No, he's going to play Goyf. You just take the Abrupt Decay to stick your... Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, you take the Abrupt Decay to stick your... Ten times out of ten, take the yeah, brother. So this Bob is going to take over the game, right? And now your Bob's never gonna live. Not in Bob a million. Said he's got two years. Bobs. We're Bobbin. multi bobbed. We're multi bobbed over here. Bob, 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 Bob. He reached a little bit for that one. Yeah, we're um, working hard at you though. You know, abrupt decay takes down the opposing Bob. Kyle's in great shape. He's got an oh, unanswered yeah. Bob. He's got a Lingering Souls in hand. He's got a Lingering Souls in the yard. He's got Spirits for days. Zach has three lands and maybe a Tarmogoyf this turn. Mm -hmm. That's not going to cut it. So, anyways, as I was saying before, the Abzan deck does get to run Lingering Souls, which is traditionally very good against Jund. Not the trump card it once was, Thanks to the new Planeswalker rule, the there's much less of a cost of running Liliana the Last Hope now. Oh, sure. And that card eats spirits all day. Twice on Sundays. You can activate it twice on Sundays? Yes. Whew. So if you ever day two of Grand Prix or top eight of Pro Tour, got some Noted. more on the Last Hopes. You tell him that I said it was okay. Kyle really ruminating about his choices here. He's deliberate. He's not going to want to mess this up. So 
So if my thoughts are correct, he has a souls in the yard and souls in the hand. You just make five spirits. If you make any. Four. Oh no, we have a scavenger goose. All right, there we go. All right. Yes, yeah, Skews is solid. Offset some Bob life. Yeah, and he's going to also uh, maybe get to handle these goifs. Yeah. Two goifs now for Zach. You definitely get in there. Yeah, you got to turn one sideways. He can four for one himself, but if he's doing that, you're perfectly happy with it. Sunny D Splash, welcome. Whew, love that Sunny D. Yeah, it tastes like floor cleaner. It's great. <laughs> it's got solar energy. <laughs> Do you really not like Sunny Delight? Yeah, it tastes like floor cleaner. It <laughs> tastes like super artificial. It doesn't taste anything like a natural orange. Like, no, it doesn't taste like food. Like <laughs> You got to listen. Do you not have like... Do you not have this like separation in your mind of like like flavors of food and then flavors of like like chemicals? I like, mean, it, it, I can understand the difference between eating food and ingesting chemicals, yes. Well, I mean everything's a chemical, so I don't mean to mis misuse that word, but like but like you know how like when somebody's like, "Oh, it's peach flavored." You know exactly what that tastes like, and it's not a peach. <laughs> yeah, I don't want anything to do with it. Oh, you don't you don't enjoy those flavors sometimes? No. Oh, okay. I do. Like, I think Gatorade has is, like, f you know, that's all those flavors. Sure. I've seen you drink Gatorade. Yeah, I drink it. Doesn't mean I enjoy it. Doesn't mean I wouldn't, like, prefer, like, fresh fruit. Do I just need to keep fresh fruit in the house? <laughs> <laughs> There's fresh fruit there now. Uh, at Cracker, Real Deal is not here tonight. He really... He rarely shows up here, and I don't know why. I don't know why people keep asking for him. Oh, it's just one person. Uh, you should have been here last round at, at Cracker. We had a we had a great one for you. We had a giveaway. You missed it. We didn't have a giveaway. We had somebody give away a game, but <laughs> they neither of them wanted that game. They tried to give it away. <laughs> Michael does YT. Thanks for the follow, man. Yeah, the the popping is uh, a wonderful co-host playing with his mic. I wasn't doing anything to my mic. It was the thing, the mic connection. Playing with a mic connection, sorry. I was oh god. Uh, you make me not want to do this. Uh, it does kind of pop sometimes. I'll give you that one, Berkeley O. To be fair, funny voice guy does have the bad mic. Scavenging ooze. I think that's the first damage Kyle's been dealt by his own scavenging ooze. He, the cost for his greatness has been pretty low. Uh, Shannon, running Jun instead of Abzan's not a great metagame call right now, so in that regard it's kind of bad, but it has its merits. All right. Tax, no blocks. Let's just start uh, chowing down here. Getting some creatures, getting some life, getting some counters. Make sure we're keeping up with those counters there. You know what, Berkleyo? I also appreciate the other guy with the bad mic. I think he's having some problems with his mic right now. <laughs> no, I'm just wondering when uh, when you're going to ever want me to add content to the show. Oh, whenever you want. Just chime right in. 
<laughs> sure. <laughs> Chime on in. Uh, Zach has seen enough. His army of monstrous goyfs are not enough to stop Kyle's spirits from flying over. So you can... So, so this thing. <laughs> so you can trace that back to that turn where he orchestrated a situation in which his Bob died, but Kyle's Bob lived. I think right. if it was like Bob on Bob violence. Oh, um, sure. Zach may have gotten ahead there. Is it's he, just whoever draws the answer for the other Bob first. But I, yeah, I think he has a little bit more removal, right? Because he's got uh, terminates, fatal pushes, uh, abrupt decays, Colgan's commands. Right. I mean, so the Abzan deck gets path as well. So it's not like completely one sided in the amount of removal, but yeah. Yeah, I'm just I, I'm wondering what the count is. It's probably about the same. Okay. Um. So. Yes, at Cracker. Traditionally, Abzan beats Jund. No, Matthew Manier, Abzan should not win every time. No, that's why you play the games. No, there's, nobody wins every time. Yeah, there's a lot of nuance to these matches. Um, you have answers for Lingering Souls, especially out of the yard. And playing like Huntmaster or Olivia Voldaren are cards, like Haymaker Whoa. cards, that Abzan just can't deal with. Olivia would be a big deal. Uh, an effective one-sided sweeper for the Abzan matchup? Not really. Um, yeah, you can play Anger, but it's not always one-sided. Yeah, so here come the Kitchen Finks. Here come the kitchen things. Yeah, I both decks will both, probably bring both them in. Both sides will bring in as many kitchen fixes as they can, taking out as many thought seizers as they can. Correct, yeah. Thought seize comes out. Um, Inquisition should probably come out. If Zach has other Liliana, he'd be... Yeah, Liliana the Last Hope is very good in this matchup. It might be his last hope to win the match. <laughs> it's certainly one of them. Uh, it kills spirits. Uh, helps you win... Or it kills spirits, kills bobs, helps you win the Tarmogoyf standoff. Oh, good. Just what I love, Tarmogoyf standoffs. The Tarmogoyf standoff. Yeah, because they always have one more toughness than they do power. Right. And uh, it creates a differential, especially if you like let them bounce off each other and then play it after combat. And get it. To, whew. Oh, sure. Uh, Berkeley, oh, yes. Uh, Abzan's path does make Jun's Finks worse. But they're still good. Um, there's a lot of removal in these decks. Yeah, and sometimes you just like... And getting value out of that helps a lot. Sometimes you're just also like just combating. You know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes you just jam. Shannon632 just subscribed. Welcome, Shannon. Thanks for the sub, Shan. We're that close. I can call him Shan now. Her. It's not like Shannon Sharp. It's it could be Shannon Sharp. If you're Shannon Sharp, don't tell me. <laughs> because I don't want you to get mobbed, but I know. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> if it's Shannon Sharp, then everyone's like, oh, it's Shannon Sharp. Let's, uh, you know, let's chat with Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp wants to stay a little more anonymous than that. If yeah, Shannon, Shannon is a him. To, if Shannon Sharp wanted to stay anonymous, he would not have taken an announcing job. He would have opened, like, a car dealership in his hometown and called it even. I mean, he probably still wouldn't be anonymous then. Um, Shannon has confirmed that Shannon is a him and uh, that he is Shannon Sharp, in my eyes. <laughs> That is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> is Shannon Sharp in the NFL Hall of Fame? Uh, probably. Probably? Okay. I don't have any idea who Holy Diva is, uh, so I will not speculate on their gender. Oh, no. This thing. I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> Wait till you leave here. 
I'm, All right, so I'm we've got the turn one Blackleaf Cliffs into Graft Digger's Cage. Um, so I'm not crazy about this, but it's okay. Like, if you just need something to bring in, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, so I think a lot of people misunderstand the modern format in, when they think about, like, oh, man, modern's all about sideboarding. And so, so I do see a card. Sorry to cut you off. I do see a card in Zach's hand that is a huge card in this matchup in Olivia Voldaren. That is something yes. that needs to be answered or the game is over. Oh, yeah, there it is. And don't let John fool you. He is not sorry that he cut me off. He was <laughs> glad that the opportunity existed. I was salivating <laughs> for something. Um, he, he'd known about that Olivia since they drew up their <laughs> openers. He's just waiting for me to start talking. No, but I think people think modern is about the sideboarding. And so they come up with these like deep, elaborate sideboarding plans where they bring in six, eight cards maybe. Right. And it's really not – that's not what you want to do all the time. Um a marginal sideboard card is going to be much worse than a good main deck card. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you don't you don't have to sell me on that. Um, sideboarding is important. Uh, it's more about taking things out than bringing things in. Yep. Um, and I don't think I would... I wouldn't be happy if Graft Digger's Cage was my sideboard for this matchup. Right. If I had so many bad ones that I, I had to bring in a Graft Digger's Cage just to get the bad ones out not happy about it yeah I, that would be a pretty rough thing to do um so on a side note i was reading about uh vampire lure vampire lore okay in <laughs> like the, in related to magic no just in general okay like when people believe that vampires and zombies actually existed okay um and these cages actually were a real thing Really? People would build cages over graves of people that they thought were like witches or like had magic powers. Yeah. To Here's make a sure that Kyle they stayed with a on the last hope. Yeah, this is this is not good. This is not where you want to be if you're Zach. You're definitely under the gun here. You gotta hope that this Lily re or this Olivia resolves and sticks around for a little while. Yeah, she's big enough that she gets around a lot of the standard removal path is the only thing I can think of. I mean, she's just a 3-3. Three, three. So, I mean, Bolt will get her two. Um, she costs four, so if you're able to turn on the revolt, which is pretty easy but not free, you can path her as well. But or I'm not – sorry, not path. Push her as well. Right. So she – yeah. So she's – So do you think you have to wait for – for six mana to get her into play so you have opportunity to activate her as well? No, I, you have to run her out right now. I mean, you you might think about doing that if you had another play and you were worried about Bolt. But in this situation, you just have to get her out there. Like, right now, she's going to be a target of this. Liliana minus one, so she's not going to do a lot of blocking, but potentially on the swing back, she can just take out this Liliana. I'm right. Four mana. Let's see it. I think he's got a terminate in hand as well. So if this goes unanswered and you see the abrupt decay in Kyle's hand, that's not going to do any good. All right, you're just playing with me now. I'm not. I'm not reading that one. But thanks for the follow. Is that a phone number? Yeah, I I believe the the logic is cage for souls. Um, we've acknowledged it's not very good. All right, so Zach's ruminating over how bad his graft digger's cage is. We agree, Zach. We all agree. Here's an Although he's not two, in his bad position as he thinks, he's going to get to untap with this Olivia. Although I see a fatal push in Kyle's hand, so it's probably going to die the next turn after he pops this clue. Yes. Um, that said... But he's he going to get to trade it off for the tireless tracker... Or the Liliana the Last Hope, depending on how he wants to do it. Uh, so I th 
don't think he can get the Lily on the last job because she targeted him. Oh, sure. Or targeted her, rather. Hmm. So, yeah, I think you take down the Tireless Tracker, you hit the Liliana for as much as you can, and then you get Terminate on the Goyf the next turn. Yeah, you can get Liliana for three to put it down to two, and three on the next. But, honestly, you're in really bad shape here. Yeah, you're not you're not happy about this. I feel like he's thinking about terminating, and I would not agree with that plan. Okay, here we go. Oh, cover. and now the fatal push lets it. Yeah. You definitely want to uh, get in there first. I'd be hard pressed to pass up the free damage, honestly. Yeah, I mean, you're if 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 Kyle has fatal push, you're getting it either way. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Clemson Louisville is that same weekend. It's going to be a wild one. No, oh, yes, yeah. we moved on to college football over there. Well, they're talking about going to SEG Louisville, and. The University of Louisville is playing Clemson, who they lost to twice last year, but they were both, like, very high-energy games, although one was a total blowout. Draws a bolt. I mean, it's not so going to get you there, but... So that gets bolt terminate. The Siliana is just way ahead. Yeah, he scoops it up. Scoops it up. So that'll do it for us tonight. Saw some spicy boys. Saw some spicy boys. Um, we'll be back next week for some hot modern action, but don't neglect this Friday or this Thursday or tomorrow where we'll have more magic action going on. Uh, standard tomorrow. Thursday and Friday are going to be modern. Yep. And then uh, after we do Modern next week, I believe they're going to get some testing in on camera and give you guys a little sneak peek of the new standard next format next season. Yeah, man, big rotation. So that'll be entertaining, big uh, rotation. Big old rotation, yeah. I'm excited to see what standard goes to. I'm going to be a part of it one way or another. And I hope you guys will be a part of this next week when we're back here for Hot Modern Action. Sleep tight, be safe. I feel like there was a third thing there. Respect your elders. Respect your elders. There it is. Good night.